songwriter and music producer. I started out by playing guitar in a band called Age of Electric, later formed a band called Limlifter, and now also have a band called Mounties. And we are in my studio, it's called Rec Room Studios in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I started playing guitar when I was nine years old because my oldest brother Brad was 18 and he played guitar and it seemed like a thing to do. He gave me a guitar, he gave me a guild guitar and I started playing night and day and uh, that was it. My mom lent me the cash to buy a Marshall Su-12 combo amp, which she immediately regretted because of how loud it was. But I think because that amp was so clean, it was uh, it kind of informed my playing and I kind of hit harder with my right hand. And I'm left-handed as well. And I was playing guitar on a right-handed guitar, which forced me to develop more of a percussive guitar style because I have more dexterity on my left hand than my right. So my right hand's kind of useless, so I just would hammer things. So the Boss DS1 was my first pedal and only pedal for many years. Something that would summon enough distortion and volume that I could play solos. It's still irreplaceable to me. What I discovered first about electric guitar was that with the amp and the guitar relationship, the relationship between those two things, like the way that the amp saw the guitar was always interesting to me. What influences me the most is not wanting to be like everything else. I just don't want to sound like that or that. I bought my Les Paul for 350 bucks because nobody wanted them in the 80s. And we'd get heckled for using them. You know, like, buy a real guitar and stuff. And I loved that. When I was 15 years old, my brother and I snuck into a bar called the Tropicana to see Todd Kearns play in a band called The Infants. And he was easily the most remarkable singer and entertainer I'd ever seen in my life. My brother Kurt, who was about three years older than me, went on the road with Todd. So together they decided that they were going to start a band with their younger brothers as soon as they graduated high school. And that's how uh, The Age of Electric came to be. So we toured across Canada non-stop for years and we all kind of gravitated towards Vancouver as a home base. Kurt and I formed another band called Limlifter with Ian Summers playing bass. Yeah, I guess it was rare at that time, you know, to be in two bands, people were like, you can't do that. But that's all we ever did was do things that people said we couldn't do. You know, you meet a lot of great musicians over the years and you say, let's start a band, let's do something. Because you're excited about the possibilities, but the amount of work that it would take is so daunting and too immense. But when Hoxie Workman says, hey, let's start a band, he said, I'm going to put it in the calendar and come out there and work with you guys. So Steve Bays from Hot Out Heat, who I'd worked with for a couple records, and Hoxley and I got together here in this room where we wrote and recorded most of the first Mounties record. Once in a while, with the right combination of people, songs can kind of just drop out of the sky. And with Steve and Hoxley, it's just instant lyrics and melodies just coming right out of the air. And just, we, we just, it was so quick and easy that nobody thought of what we should do and how we should do it. We try to capture that again, and it's difficult because you're more, you're more thoughtful about it, you're more uh, aware of the process and all the things you went through that got you to the spot where th things were just delivered to you. So now we're constantly trying to trick ourselves into doing that thing, which is making music without thinking.